Team-based learning, or TBL, is a powerful and effective approach to learning because it engages students, develops communication and thinking skills, and it's also a lot of fun. But it does take some getting used to as it's very different from a classical lecture-based approach. The key to its success is the fact that teams of a few students, and usually around six, work together to come to the best answers to the questions. This exchange of ideas allows students to get to the right answer by pooling their knowledge together. The first activity is an Individual Readiness Assurance Test, or IRAT, which usually lasts for 15 minutes to one hour, with about 60 to 90 seconds per question. This is a multiple choice test where students are tested on their understanding of concepts that they reviewed before class. The questions are designed to present students with the single best answer, or SBA. In this scene, you see students engaged answering these SBA questions. It's very much like a test and is conducted under test conditions. The answers are recorded online and student performance can be used for assessment. Once the IRAT is over, you will see that students do the same test in their teams as part of the readiness assurance process. Student teams have a discussion and commit to an answer and electronically receive immediate feedback on whether they've got the answer right or wrong. This drives the discussion and makes sure that the students justify their answers to each other before committing. Often, in the team, someone is able to explain what the right answer is to their teammates. If students are still unable to find the right answers, this may then be raised at a class level and discussed. We call this the burning question. As you can see, students are actively engaged throughout the whole process instead of passively sitting and receiving information. In this discussion, students challenge each other's answers and peer teach. The content expert is then able to correct any misconceptions which arose and clarify any tricky issues. The purpose of the IRAT, TRAT and burning question discussions is to make sure students understand key concepts and key basic concepts which they can apply in realistic settings. During the application exercise, students are presented with case studies such as clinical scenarios or vignettes that reflect the significant real world problems faced by professionals. Early exposure in the first and second year of these kinds of problems allows students the opportunity to start thinking like future doctors. Doing this in classroom settings allows them to make mistakes and learn from them. Just like in the hospitals, students work in teams to apply their knowledge and propose specific solutions to the problems, using the material they have learned in preparation for the session and material from previous sessions. The clock counts down as they discuss, look up resources and try to find the best possible solution for each of the questions posted. Each team makes a specific choice at that time, the answers from each team are simultaneously revealed to the whole class. Discussion between the teams are then facilitated. When teams have come up with different answers, the discussions become quite intense and important principles are discussed in depth. Each team tries to convince the others that they have the best explanation. The content expert will finally come in and clarify any issues as well as highlighting gaps in the student's knowledge. This active teaching process allows students to engage in deep and meaningful discussions with content experts and with each other.